So, uh, welcome to my thought for the day for the 9th of November 2022. Um, as I've mentioned before, when you do a thought for the day, you have a choice of lectionary readings, one from the Psalms, one from the Old Testament and one from the New Testament. And today's choice is something of a delight, really. And inter interestingly, each one of these has inspired uh, some truly wonderful music. I usually find myself drawn to the New Testament readings as they seem to talk more directly and somehow seem more relevant and believable and also they, they seem to describe a God who is somehow more accessible. But that's not the case today. Uh, today the New Testament reading is from the book of Revelation, the book which inspired a really rather good bit of music called Supper's Ready from the album Foxtrot by the 1970s pop group Genesis, and the end of which quotes extensively from Revelation in describing how the, uh, the Lord of Lord, the King of Kings, has returned to lead his children home to take them to a new Jerusalem. Anyway, the reading is that part of John's vision which, in which he sees and hears angels calling in loud voices to a multitude dressed in white robes and falling down before the, God, the throne of God. So here is a God of power and might and sitting in judgment. But by contrast, the Old Testament reading from the lectionary is from Daniel and seems positively straightforward. It's the story of how, uh, whilst King Balthazar, and the, the mighty king of Babylon, is feasting with his nobles, wives and concubines, using the gold and silver goblets that have been taken from the temple in Jerusalem, a, sand, a hand suddenly appears and writes some words on the wall, Mene, Mene, Tekel and Parson. And Daniel is brought before the terrified king to explain the meaning of these words and he explains that the words of God's judgment on Belshazzar and his arrogance and contempt for God, Belshazzar has been weighed in the scales and found wanting and his reign will shortly end. Indeed, that very night, Belshazzar is killed and Darius the Mede takes over his kingdom. Again, this is a god of judgment and the story has also inspired music, the wonderful choral works called Belshazzar's Feast by both Handel and William Walton. They're great readings, but I'm going to read instead from the Psalms, uh, and this reading has also inspired some of the most beautiful music. It's been set to music which we regularly sing in church, and there are two versions, both of which are wonderful and, and powerful and moving. And it's Psalm 23, The Lord is My Shepherd. Now, I'd usually read from the NIV, but I think this deserves the old King James Version. So, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord for ever. Isn't that one of the most fabulous pieces of writing written by King David? It captures the feeling of absolute peace and certainty in the Lord. A Lord, a God, not sitting in judgment, but one who gives peace and sustains us. With the Lord there is no want. With the Lord you will lie down in green pastures but still beside still, quiet waters. With the Lord, even when you're in the valley of the shadow of death, there is no fear. With the Lord you're provided for. With the Lord there is goodness and mercy and everlasting life. It seems to me that this... Psalm 23, together with the Lord's Prayer, encompasses and encapsulates all that's really most wonderful in the Christian faith. If the Lord is your shepherd, you shall not want. Amen.